Hey everybody, Brother John here. That's Sister Sunshine. I correspond with her with videos. We've been in Stickam. Very uh, nice lady. Uh, one of the more reasonable uh, Christians to talk with in chat rooms. Uh, I would consider her an intelligent woman. Um, and even for a Pentecostal, very tolerant, if you uh, spent any time with her in the uh, stick-am rooms. But, once again, one of the most popular topics on the internet is hell. Yes, and if you see any of my other videos, you know my uh, stance on hell now. It's just unjustifiable, unreasonable quite sadistic but Sister Sunshine has uh, put out her one of her latest videos called Can God and um, she reads from a book from uh, Mr. David Gray who is a Pentecostal and uh, she reads their view on hell which is of course one of eternal torment and punishment for those who reject Jesus Christ now um, in my comments to Sister Sunshine, I um, bring up an analogy that I bring up quite often to Christians, and um, the analogy is this, and I'll just read what I wrote on her comment. If you had the foreknowledge that one of your children were to be born, and that they would suffer an eternity in hell, would you still give birth to that child? Because this begs the question of the foreknowledge and omniscient and omnipresence of the biblical, and I stress biblical, Judeo-Christian God. Sister Sunshine writes, I believe that children are sent by the Lord and formed in the womb by the Lord. I also believe that each person has free will to accept or reject the offer of salvation and God's grace and mercy. So children are a blessing from the Lord, and I would in no way reject the blessing of a child. So of course, I would always give birth to any child the Lord would send. Hmm. I, um, I responded to that comment as such. I quoted her first, where she says, I believe that children are sent by the Lord and form in the womb by the Lord, and that children are a blessing from the Lord and in no way reject the blessing of a child. So my question was, this is the sunshine, then why would God send them to an eternal hell if she believes that they are a blessing from the Lord? I also go on to my comment to say, can you not see the inconsistency here? And if you would give birth knowing they would go to hell, then they serve no person, no purpose except your own temporal one. And, my, and might I add, selfish one. I also added, and this is moral, reasonable, justified? And I asked Sister Sunshine that I think she would need to give this some more thought. Now, I did give, this was a day ago, so I'm hoping Sister Sunshine is giving this more thought and rereading her comments and how contradictory they are. And I think it proves my, uh, I think my analogy is valid because if God does have the foreknowledge and if there is a hell, there is no free will. It's an illusion then. And Sister Sunshine, and those Christians who would still say, you know, I'd still have the child, with the foreknowledge they would go to hell. Sister Sunshine, I then said, I am sad for you. Uh, because then, the children are for your own temporal pleasure. Um, it is selfish then to have the child to enjoy for the amount of time here on earth compared to an eternity 
in hell? Is that Christ-like? Is that really the God of love? Because if, if this is true, I know a lot, a lot of parents who are more compassionate and more loving than the biblical God that you propose. Just my thoughts. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Uh -huh.